Hello and welcome. In today's video, we will be looking at my one set of water soluble gouache that has been in the window for light fast testing for the last six months. Let's pull it out, see what it looks like compared to ones that have been in the drawer and maybe even do a painting with it. My one and only set of water soluble gouache is the Savoir Faire. And this came in an art subscription box. This was in a smart art box. So I'm really excited to have it, even though it's not professional quality gouache. It's still my only gouache. So these swatches here have been in the window for six months, like I mentioned in the intro. And I am really curious if you guys think they have faded. What do you think? I'll show them to you in a little bit different view so you can look at them more closely. Okay, here is the slightly different view. These were the ones that were in the window. Hang on, let me flip them over and make them both gradients going the right way. Do you think they've faded? All right, all right, let's end the suspense. Let's put their counterparts next to it so you will know the answer right away. <laughs> so there's that counterpart. And there's that one. What do you think? Are the ones that you guessed were faded actually faded? Or did you guess some incorrectly? Or did you guess it all? <laughs> You're like, just shut up and do the video. <laughs> all right, so I will bring these up close and personal. Adjust my lights just a bit so you can have the correct lighting on these. But here we are. So I would say on this sheet, there's no fading. Is that accurate? Yeah, I would say no fading. Six months, no fading on this sheet. This one is a little bit different story. This has reds and oranges on it and those tend to fade first, like if you have a red receipt in the window, but this red obviously didn't. Anyway, if you have a red receipt in the window or a receipt with like a red logo on it, that red tends to go away first. These two reds are drastically different. The first three colors are not different at all. Not drastically different per se, but in the gradient, you can see the gradient is definitely all gone. So if you dilute this paint with water, then you're going to have a lot quicker fading. This color here didn't fade at all. The orange faded a lot. Both oranges faded way too much, which is sad. They're such pretty oranges. <laughs> I guess you'll have to make your own orange with whatever this red here is and this yellow because this yellow did not fade at all either, but the one below it did. I wonder if this is how these yellows match up or if it's some other way, but regardless, if you're going to use a yellow, you're going to want to use this one. Now that I'm looking at it at slightly different angles and whatnot, the yellow is still slightly faded. It's better than this one, but still a little bit faded. I think that it'd be pretty safe to mix whatever this red is with that yellow and maybe get an orange that's not going to fade like this. In fact, that would be a fun experiment to try and maybe we will do that today. We'll figure out which yellow this is, which red this is. Are these not from this set? Maybe? Well, everything I just said can be thrown out the window now <laughs> because this side, they're marked. This side, I'm like, oh, they are part of this set, but this side is marked. They are the Windsor & Newton gouache, Naples yellow, and the Turner gouache, which is an acrylic gouache, so you can't really count that. So there are no reds <laughs> in this set that you can mix to get an orange that will be light fast. So no reds and no oranges that are light fast. This yellow is barely light fast, but this is only six months, so this is not long-term testing, obviously. So ignore these two bottom colors. That's from a different set, as I've mentioned. Ta-da, okay. This only has 20 colors in it. These swatch sheets hold 24, so that must be why I put these other two here. Anyway, these two colors at the bottom, this Turner's and Windsor and Newton, they're off to Kimberly Crick. She's doing some testing with those two colors. I sent them to her to try out. So yeah, dang it, no reds in here that we can make an orange with. But wow, yeah, this side of the swatches is pretty darn good. We will look at this again in another six months. But for today, I wanted to paint with these again because I have not painted with them for a long time. And I noticed this was just sitting over on the right side of my art desk. It's one I had been experimenting on. This is Strathmore 500 paper. And I thought it would be fun to try out the palette where I had originally tried these and they're just dry on it, I think. Let me go find it. Well, here's the palette I originally tried these on and it's empty, so we won't be doing that. I mean, it's there's that, but 
I guess we won't be seeing how these re-wet because there's nothing left here. Cut them. In any art subscription that I have received gouache in, I put those brushes in a different place so that I could use them again with gouache. I don't think that using my watercolor brushes would necessarily hurt them. These are my usual watercolor brushes and I just grabbed them from my desk because I used them yesterday. Anyway, I don't think they would hurt them, but perhaps it would be a little harder to re-wet this gouache if it had dried out. So I don't want to be too rough on the ones that I've received for watercolors that I love. I'm going to use these. That was a long way to say we're just going to use those brushes. So I have painted this scene at least once before, so it's familiar to me. It's my cute little cat character. He's adorable. And we will see. I wish we had colors already out, but maybe that's good that we don't because we don't have to try and re-wet them. It would just be a fun experiment to re-wet them. So I'm going to use the swatch sheet that was in the drawer to compare my colors here. Yeah, I'll just put you on time lapse. That's that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's easier. Whatever. I can listen to my thing then or something. I don't know. And so on time lapse, you are. <laughs> I don't know. I was in a rambly mood that day. What can I say? I am in California actually right now as I'm recording this voiceover at King of the Hammers. You guys look it up. It is so much fun. Huge event. Very big deal down here for racing communities and just having a blast. It's really fun to look back on this video though because I did it last week right before I left and just had to finish it up here in California for you guys. And the reason it's fun to look back on is because it is really fun to paint with wet paint right out of the tube, fresh out of the tube. And I have an oil painting class I'm teaching coming up and that's always nice too because we're painting fresh from the tube just like I almost always do with oil paints. Sometimes I put a piece of plastic over them and use them again if I'm using them within a week or so. But anyway, using this gouache wet from the tube, it's just, it's fun. <laughs> Makes me think, I wonder if I should use my watercolors wet from the tube a little bit more often. But I don't know, with watercolors, and I travel so much, it is really nice to have them dried out. It just makes things pretty simple. But you can see the gouache is working pretty well. I'm watering some of it way down, and I am not watering some of it way down. So I'm using it both ways, and it just works exactly as I expect. For example, when I am trying to re-wet certain areas, yes, it does pick up the paint underneath and kind of make it wet again and I really like that feature. I like that better than I like any kind of acro gouache or acrylic gouache. So if I were to get professional grade gouache and I was thinking probably the Windsor & Newton brand of gouache would be what I would choose, uh, I would definitely get regular rewettable gouache instead of any kind of acro gouache. If you're going to use acro gouache, in my opinion, why are, why are you not just using acrylics? I guess maybe because it dries matte and it's easy to photograph. I guess that would be one thing, but I really like the intriguing quality of gouache that is water soluble and you can re-wet it and rework it. Anyway, the kids are keeping me pretty busy down here at the Hammers, but I am trying to find some time to work on my coloring book. Here it is up close and personal. Nothing too special. That was really fun to paint with paint. <laughs> that is basically opaque. And I've thinned this down a lot, as you probably saw in the time lapse. So some of it was not opaque, and I imagine some colors are probably less opaque than others. But this was fun. I really enjoyed that. It kind of brought me back to my oil painting days, even though it's not anywhere close to oil painting. But like painting with wet paint, it was fun. My favorite part are the shadows of the two cats on the sidewalks. So probably should do some more shadows on this little piece, but good enough good enough for today I'm happy with it and if you wouldn't mind hit the like button if you enjoyed any part of this video it really helps me out I appreciate it greatly and it makes me feel so good when there are some likes on my video <laughs> it's like oh, it's all worthwhile all right guys I'll see you in the next video bye for now hello and welcome in today's video we have my one and only set of water soluble gouache that I own has well that made no sense <laughs> okay Hello and welcome. I have. Hello and welcome. I have one set of water soluble gouache that has been in the window for light fast testing. Oh, crap. <laughs> do over. Hmm. I thought I had this. I do not. Let's do it. What did you think? I guess you have to make your orange. Oh, whoa. I don't know what that word was. So. What the heck are these yellows? Yellow and yellow. <laughs>
Yellow one, yellow one. No, the one is. I'm saying that wrong. Now that I'm looking at it, it's slightly different angles and whatnot. The yellow is the. Hmm. If the. Okay. And the one that's been in the window. Duh. Which one did you think would be faded? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I don't even know what I was. What I was doing. So now that I look at it, it's slightly different angles and stuff. This yellow is slightly faded. So it's better than this one. <laughs> Sorry, just kicked my heater and it's in La La Land now. Um, until I look at it again a week from now. Alrighty, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great weekend. Oh wait, this video comes out on Tuesday. Oh wait, hit the like button. I've heard that, hey, stop wiggling.